What's up guys, it's Steeman10 here, and today I got breaking news for you guys. Whoever updated to Lion figured out when you try to downgrade or um, update in iTunes, iTunes would lock you out because your host files. Now, naturally, you would go into your host files and try to edit them. With Lion, I'll show you right now, when you click the home screen, you go to your goal folder, and then you hit this. Go to your host file, open it up, and then you can see that it says GS. Yeah. So I can just duplicate this to see. I'll show you what it looks like. GS Apple. Num bunch of numbers, all this stuff. And then you'd go to delete it, right? Now check this out. I don't want to save that. You go to delete it. Look, even I type a letter, it says you're locked out. So then uh, naturally I was like, okay, go up here, unlock it, right? You don't have permission to unlock it. But I'm the admin of my computer, which I didn't understand. Apple got smart, and they locked the host files because they knew people were downgrading. So this new update of Lion, which I will show you I am on Lion. Well, I do have Launchpad and this, but if you don't believe me about that, about my Mac, I am on 10.7 okay so I was like crap now I can't downgrade shit what am I gonna do so just figured out I read up a little bit on it and I figured out I was like wait terminal terminal you can do anything with your computer right so I did a little research research terminal on here and you open that up a lot of people don't know about terminal okay so log into your computer, right? Now obviously I needed code. So I found code. This is what you're gonna plug into terminal. You're gonna copy that and you're gonna paste it. This is a command that gets you to your host file root accessing your computer. So you're gonna enter. So you ask you for your administrative password. Enter. Boom, I'm in. Okay. Now normally you usually have to move down, up and down the arrows. Um, it's a little confusing, but um, normally it would say GS Apple, and then a bunch of numbers. Like I said before, you're gonna want to move your cursor down from the top. Make sure you do not delete any of these other lines. This is really important. You don't do that, otherwise your computer will not run properly. You're gonna go and delete that, right? And then down here, my little directions box, which I will post in the description. I don't want to block those because my head's right there. Um, it'll prompt you to edit the file. You edit the file, and now you hit Control X. So you hit Control X. It's going to ask you down here, are you sure you want to save it? And you're going to hit yes, which is why in this. Confirm your changes. Now it's going to say file name to write over is this file. So you need to hit enter or return. Boom, you're done. So now, watch this. Click on your home screen. Go to folder, hosts. Open that bad boy up. Boom, gone. GS Apple is gone. So that's how you do it. Now I can go to iTunes and downgrade whatever you want. It's a little bit trickier, obviously. I'm sure there'll pro be programs about it. But this is the only video I'm seeing, filming right now, that I've seen on YouTube. No one has this up. So hopefully I was the first. Hopefully I can help you guys out. Please subscribe up above for more videos like this. And give me a like button down below to let me show you the love. Alright? <laughs> See you guys later. Peace.